Now we've made it to step eight, place rule training. So we've already trained our pick. Now we're gonna go ahead and train our left side place. So the first thing I'm gonna do is rename it. Left side place. And place training is also teach by demonstration. So that means that we are going to hit this teach button and follow the on-screen instructions. Step one, attach the part to the tool. Step two, move the robot to present the gripped part to the 3D sensor. And step three, return to this page and press scan. So the first thing we're gonna do is attach the part. We're gonna to move to the IO page and turn suction on. And it doesn't actually matter how we attach this part. In this case, I am gonna attach it on the clear side uh, as I did before. But in place training, we're actually training a part relative place. We're training this part's location and orientation in this space, the virtual environment and the real environment. So the way we have it isn't really particularly important. Of course, we wanna make sure that the place that we're training is actually reachable by the robot. So in that case, I'm going to attach to the clear side. Step two of the instructions, now that I've attached the part to the tool, is again to scan the part. So let's go ahead and do that. Move the, move the part underneath the scanner. And we're gonna go ahead and hit scan. Now the purpose of us scanning a second time during uh, place rule training is that uh, we want to know how we have the part so that when we move out of the field of view of the scanner to the place target, uh, we know how we're holding that part. So first we want to make sure that we have it the way virtually in the virtual environment, we have it the way we do in the real world, which we do. It looks good. And so we can go ahead and hit next. It now says position part at place location. So now from the scanner, we know how we have the part. So we're physically gonna move that part to the place location. Now, in this case, I wanna place it, uh, let's place it this way facing down and we'll place it in my hand. Now I want the part to be in this orientation each time. So this open threaded hole here should always be facing toward me. This one should always be facing this way, and the flat top of the part should always be facing uh, to the left as this then uh, picks and places the part this way, the same way, here each time. So this is how we want the part to be at place. Now we can go ahead and hit next. It takes us to the move page, so we'll accept that location. It then asks us to position part at pre-place. So the pre-place location in this case, uh, we'll just go straight up. Looks like a good pre-place location. And it also asks us for a post-place location. Just so we have something visually different, we'll just go a little bit higher. So it's gonna start, this is pre-place, it's going to place the part, and it's going to go to post-place after the fact. So we're gonna go ahead and accept this location and hit done. We can, of course, control speed and acceleration from pre-place to place to post-place uh, as well. And so everything looks good. And in the previous step, we already associated the left side pick rule with the left side place rule. The next thing we want to do is set our tool actions within uh, for pre-pick, pick, post-pick, pre-place, place, post-place. Post -place. So for the moment, I'm gonna go ahead and turn section off. And what we wanna do for tool actions at pre-pick is we want to turn the vacuum on. So we'll go under basic, set. In this case, we've wired in digital IO to high. We can test that. Then we want the vacuum on for pick for post pick to pre-place, and at place, we wanna turn the vacuum off. So we'll go to place, 
and we will set digital output zero to low. So now we have our uh, tool actions defined. We could also, if we want to add some weights or pauses at any of those uh, steps. Uh, so now we have a fully trained uh, pick and place program. So let's go ahead and press play. Now we've only trained one side uh, of this part, just the left side or the clear side as we call it. And, uh, but I've positioned all the parts in the bin facing that direction since that's the only pick rule we've trained. Of course we can train multiple uh, pick and place rules. When we hit play, the robot is going to move collision free to its home position. We're going to find next part, that means we're going to scan. We're then going to execute the moves to pre-place, place, post-place, post -place, position the part each time. And you see the flat part is facing me, this hole is facing the other way, so it is placing in a part relative way. You'll notice that the robot operation is autonomous. So it is deciding how to move through the space in a collision-free way without hitting the bin, the sensor, or any of the frame in its environment. And now we have our first successful pick-and-place program.